What's happening everybody? Kyle from VR Scout here and today we are back breaking down this week's biggest news in VR and AR. This week was loaded with major announcements from a new partnership between HTC and iFixit to the first ever Oscar awarded to a VR project. We have a lot to get through so let's jump straight into it. Developer Respawn Entertainment made history during the 2021 Academy Awards after a short film included as part of its VR World War II shooter Medal of Honor Above and Beyond took home the award for Best Documentary Short Subject. By all accounts, this marks the first time a video game developer has won an Academy Award. Respawn said on Twitter, quote, we're over the moon about Colette's Best Documentary Oscars win tonight. From Vince, Peter, and all the rest of us at Respawn, we are humbled and honored. The 24-minute film tells the story of Colette Marine Catherine, a former French resistance fighter, as she visits Germany for the first time in 74 years to visit the concentration camp where her brother was killed. You can watch the entire documentary yourself via YouTube or by playing Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, available on Oculus and SteamVR headsets for $59.99. Thanks to a new partnership with HTC, iFixit, one of the leading suppliers of consumer electronic repair supplies in North America, now offers an extensive lineup of replacement parts, toolkits, and repair guides for the HTC Vive, HTC Vive Pro, Vive Wireless Adapter, Vive Tracker, and various other peripherals. iFixit also offers a generous selection of repair guides for your headset, as well as the Vive controllers. Check out the full list of parts over at iFixit.com. This week, everyone's favorite Oculus Quest sideloading platform, SideQuest, introduced its first official mobile app. Those with an up-to-date Android device can now sideload VR content directly to their Quest headsets without the need for a dedicated computer. In an official release, CEO and co-founder Shane Harris said, quote, One of the most requested SideQuest features is to be able to access it without a PC. Today, I am stoked to announce the launch of the SideQuest mobile app, with support for App Lab and sideloading. We are more committed than ever here at SideQuest to do all we can to bring cutting-edge content to users and to help developers succeed in VR. The app itself is free to download via the Google Play Store and the setup process is fairly simple. For more information, you can check out our full how-to guide over at VRScout.com. Speaking of indie VR games, 23 Quest developers have banded together to offer the first ever App Lab bundle, Lab Surprise. Here's how it works. Every time you log on to the official Lab Surprise page, you'll be presented with a new bundle featuring three random App Lab games. Recently, the team introduced an additional five games to the roster, bringing the total number of games to 19. Each of the three games will appear hidden to you at first. You can choose to reveal each game individually, though each time you do, you lower the bundle's discount. Basically, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Those interested can learn more over at labsurprise.me. And wrapping up this week's news, we have the reveal of Enco, Netflix's very own VTuber personality. This sheep human life form, oh my god, will serve as the company's official anime ambassador working to help spread the word about Netflix anime content while simultaneously interacting with the rapidly expanding VTuber community. Enko will be kicking off her VTuber career with her own weekly show on Netflix anime's official YouTube channel. As for what type of content this digital personality will provide, it sounds as though the sky's the limit. According to Enko herself, she'll be promoting new anime series streaming on Netflix, interacting with fans as well as the VTuber community, playing video games, and even singing from time to time. When you consider the substantial investment Netflix has made to its anime catalog, it comes as no surprise that the company is looking to take advantage of the growing popularity of virtual entertainers to further corner the market. That's it for this week, but for more on everything VR and AR, be sure you're checking out VRScout.com and some of the other amazing videos we have on our channel. Thanks so much as always for watching, everybody. Have an excellent week.